Hey everybody, it's Josh Inspires. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft server, but this one's a bit simpler, a lot faster, no port forwarding, no Hamachi, none of that. All you have to do is open your whatever browser you are on, go to Eternos.org, and hit enter. You'll come to this website, simply hit play in the bottom right corner. Uh, it'll ask you to make an account. Simply make an account. I've made an account, obviously Josh Inspires. Um, and It'll ask you what version of Minecraft you want to play. Uh, I've set mine to 1.15.2, which is the latest version. I have it set to vanilla, though this does allow you to install mods if you would like. And it'll basically just have this little start button, hit that. And then hit yes, you accept the EULA. It will, uh, you, you don't have to accept this, but if you do, it just basically tells you when your server is in the queue. So basically, this is a free Minecraft server hosting website. Basically, instead of paying for a server or... Um, making your own server, these people will host a server for you. And basically, uh, they fund all their server hosting through ads, so that's the reason I have my ad block off, is so that these ads can play, and that they can continue funding these servers. But yeah, you basically have all these options on the left side, so server right here is basically, it's going through the queue, because like a lot of people use this server. Uh, it also has the log if you want to look at it. So uh, basically this will come up whenever the server starts after it's done through the queue. Options basically allows your um, your Minecraft to, uh, like, this is your Minecraft server options. You can change the difficulty to everything you want. You can change all this stuff. You can take the slots of players. You can make a whitelist, command blocks, monsters. Uh, you can even add your own resource pack down here. You can even make it a cracked Minecraft server by turning this option on. Uh, in the software, this basically is just where you would install all of your bucket plugins, uh, your forge, like all of that stuff. Players will basically just let you uh, op people, whitelist people, ban people, and ban IPs. It also has backups. You have to connect your Google account to save it into Google Drive, but yeah. So if we go back to the server, I'm still waiting in queue, but only 500 servers ahead of me. So I, I'm going to go ahead and load up Minecraft on 1.15.2. Okay, so I'm in Minecraft, and basically if I just want to add a server, uh, it doesn't matter what I call it. So what you want to do is you want to go back to you want to go back to uh, the Eternos. So this IP right here, Josh Inspires.Eternos.me, is actually the IP of the server that I will be hosting. Uh, your IP will basically just be your username dot and you just want to copy it You just want to paste it into the server address with control V and now you just got to wait until uh, You are through the queue so I will just wait until I'm through with the queue and my server will start up Yeah, and you want to hit confirm now when you're close enough and it's going to prepare After it's done preparing it will start loading and now it is starting the server so we just gotta wait for it to fully start. If we take a look at the console, I believe we can actually see the server. Yeah. So it's actually loading everything. Uh, you know, loading the properties, loading the world, loading the advancements. And now we just gotta wait for it to load completely, which it is taking its time to do, but eventually. So now it's actually preparing the world which you can see with this little progress bar and if we go to the console you'll see that it is just preparing it in percentages like a normal minecraft server and yeah now we just wait for the spawn area to be prepared and we can join it and there we go the server has finished <coughs> and it gives that little chime which i'm not sure if you would have been able to hear from the desktop audio but it's fine anyway you can jo now join the server it'll take a second And we are in. Here is the Minecraft server. It is a bit laggy. And that is the one caveat with Eternos. Is that uh, seeing as it's a free Minecraft server hosting uh, platform. They basically, um, basically they give half a CPU core and like half. Or no, like they give not many CPU cores and also only half a gigabyte of RAM for your Minecraft server. Which is like the bare minimum for like you and maybe one other player which kind of sucks but like seeing as it it's a free um 
free server hosting platform, that's completely understandable. But yeah, so if you want to make a server that's more powerful and can handle more people and not be as laggy, you definitely want to make your own server or uh, buy a server. But uh, for, Eton for Eternos, for like people with uh, PCs that maybe aren't as powerful or maybe you don't have the money, uh, this for a free server, this definitely isn't the worst. So uh, this is one method in creating a Minecraft server. And yeah. Uh, anyway, if you guys enjoyed, thanks for watching. And uh, leave a like and a comment down below. And yeah, see you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.